Let's think money to compare these two numbers. We have one and 44 hundredths and one and 40, 434 thousandths. Well, this one could be a little confusing because we have a number in the thousands place, but we don't have a number in the thousands place for this number. So we might be inclined to think that if, a num if it has more numbers, then it has to be bigger. But let's try that strategy of thinking money. Remember that it takes a tenth as a dime. So if we have one, if we treat this like money, and we have $1.44 and $1.43, here we have a dollar in each for each amount. And then we have four tenths, which is the same as 40 cents and in both for both numbers. And then we have to move over to the pennies or the hundredths place. And we only have three pennies here, but we have four pennies there. So we know that 143 is larger. And even if we take this shape, this cover off of the thousands place, we know that even if we have some thousands, we would need 10 thousands to make this a four, uh, to move this up from three hundredths to four hundredths because we need 10 thousandths to make one hundredth. So we know that one and 434 thousandths is going to be smaller than one and 44 hundredths. Now, what if we change this up a bit and we consider this number in the mix? one and 444 thousandths. Well, now we have something going on here, don't we? This is a little different. Here, if we cover our thousands place and think money, we have $1.44, $1.43, and $1.44. Well, we know that $1.44 three cents is smaller than one dollar and 44 cents but we have two one dollar and 44 cents well guess what now we're really going to use this thousands place because if we want to figure out which of these numbers not thinking money is larger we can go back over to our thousands place and now we can decide which is bigger one hundred one and four hundred Forty thousandths or one and four hundred forty four thousandths. If you decided one and four hundred forty four thousandths, you are correct.